Howdy folks and welcome back to the Nature Photography Show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select subjects using the object selection tool in Lightroom Classic. So over the past few years, Lightroom Classic has exploded with new features. I started using it at Lightroom 2 way, way, way back when. And trust me, it is a lot better now than it was then for sure. And they're going to continue to add. Well, recently, I guess probably not overly recently, they've added the ability to select subject. Now they're using and leveraging AI to do this and, and it's pretty cool especially if you're a portrait photographer where the subject is usually very defined. For nature photographers, if you're shooting wildlife, it does a really good job. But if you're a landscape photographer, it doesn't always do the best job when you hit the select subject. It does a pretty good job with the select sky, but if you do the subject, it's hit or miss for landscape photography because it doesn't necessarily know what you were going for. But there's a tool inside Lightroom Classic that we can use to help refine that subject detection and make it a little bit more useful for us. It is not 100% foolproof, but it definitely has its place and it might be able to speed up your workflow. So why don't you come join me at the computer? Here we are in Lightroom Classic. And what I want to do is show you first what it looks like when it finds the subject and I'm in the develop module and this is the first place that you'll probably come to in the basic panel of the develop module. Well, on the right hand side right here you can see a dotted circle. Think of it like the dotted marching ants in Photoshop or something like that if it helps you. But this is your masking tool. So you want to click that and you have some options. So in this image you can clearly see what the subject is. Let's see how Lightroom Classic does with finding the subject. So we're going to click the little subject, add new mask, and look at that. It does an amazing job. While I'm at it, I want to show you another little cool little trick is if you've selected the subject, but you really wanted to select the background, you have a little checkbox right here for invert and look at that. You've now selected the background. So that is pretty handy. You also have the option when you first click on it, you can just select the background and look at that. You can also invert that if you just want to select the subject. So there's a lot of pretty cool options if everything works like it's supposed to. But that's not what this video tutorial is about. This is about when it doesn't work and how to use object selection to add the subject to the mask. So right here we have an image and to me it's pretty well defined what the subject is. But when you go over and you select subject, look at this. For some reason, the artificial intelligence is not being very intelligent. It just picks up the very tip top of this tree. And that's somewhat ridiculous if you ask me, but this is what we're given. So we're gonna delete that one and we're gonna go back in. And this time we're not gonna say select subject. We're going to go with objects. And there's a brush mode right here and watch this. This is pretty, pretty stellar. You just kind of highlight, Hey, this is really the area that I want you to look at for a subject. And look at that. Isn't that pretty amazing? So you just select what you're looking for. Again, go to objects and you just select what you're looking for. And what's cool is you can select as much or as little as you want. And we're going to go out here. We're going to do these. We're going to get all of these trees here and we're going to see how it does. And look at that. It didn't do a perfect job, but it got really, really, really close. And you can always add if you want. And you can say, I really want you to really look a little harder at here. So there are some pretty cool options to be able to do that. What's neat is it gives you that ability to quickly speed up your workflow. So in this instance, you're not going to have to go and go into Photoshop and try to do all the detail selection and all that stuff. You can do it pretty quick. So I'm just going to do it quick again, let you see how fast it works. And it's not like I have the fastest computer on the planet either. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to do a pretty good job. And at any point you can say add. And this time I can just say add a brush 
And I say, yeah, you know what? I really want you to include this too. So look at that. I was able to get all of that. But if you don't want part of what it selected, there's an option to subtract from it as well. You can say subtract using a brush. And look at that. You can say, nope, don't include that. And lo and behold, you have your subject selected. And when your subject selected, you have a ton of controls at your fingertips, your exposure, contrast, highlight shadows. You can even change the color temperature, the saturation, your curves for just what you have selected, your texture, clarity, dehaze, sharpness, all kinds of options. So for landscape photographers, it may not work as good as it does for portraits or weddings or, or people, but it has its place and you can really, really use it to speed up your workflow or make better selections or just to help yourself in general in post-processing. Because me, I am not one of those heavy lifters that spends hours and hours and hours in Photoshop for an image. I spend just a few minutes with the images that I have because that is, I enjoy post-processing, but I don't enjoy it so much that I wanna spend the hours on a single image. And if you're like that, then this will help you tremendously speed up your workflow so that you can get on to other images. Thank you for watching the video tutorial on how to use object selection for landscape photography. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions about how to use these tools to better select your subject, let me know those comments as well. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create.